Hello everyone. Welcome back to Stride Rise Finance. The markets have been volatile very much in the recent weeks and what we see here is the S&P 500 going back into the correction territory which is more than 10% down from its most recent high. The Nasdaq itself is almost 19% down year to date and when we check Nasdaq against its most recent high back in November we see it's almost 20% down so it's into a bear market territory. The Russell 2000 index which has all the small cap stocks is also in a bear market territory down more than 20% from its recent highs. In today's video, we'll look at 10 dividend paying stocks which are close to their 52 week lows. All the market turmoil that we had this year gives us a very good buying opportunity into these stocks. Let's check it out. And as always, I really appreciate if you could hit on that like and subscribe buttons and hit that bell notification so that you're informed of all such videos in the future. And that helps this young channel. First, we have VF Corp, ticker symbol VFC. VF Corp is an American global apparel and footwear company that owns brands such as Vans, North Face, Timberland, etc. This year so far, VF Corp has taken a real beating. It's down almost 26% and in the last one year, almost 37%. When you look at the one year chart of VF Corp, it is just 5% over its 52 week low. It provides high yield of 3.54% and has a very good PE of 17.63. From the dividends point of view, it has been paying its dividends for the last 48 years. So it's just two years shy of being a dividend king. The fire growth rate is almost 6%. Track your dividends gives VF Corp a low score of 32, which I feel is based on its uh, danger rating given for quite a few parameters like the consecutive dividend growth. But as we saw before, it has been paying for the last 48 years. So I think track your dividends uh, has its data not so correct over here. It considers VF Corp to be almost 48% undervalued. But as per my own dividend calculations, which considers the most recent yield and also the historical one, I found VF Corp to be 32% undervalued with a fair price of $72. Next on our list is Cummins Inc. Take a symbol CMI. Year to date, Cummins has fallen almost 10% and in the last one year, down almost 24%. Cummins is also almost 5% close to its 52 week low. It currently provides a yield of 2.8% and has a very good PE of just under 12. From the dividend standpoint, uh, it has been paying dividend for the last three years and has a five year growth rate of just over 7%. Track your dividends gives Cummins a high score of 86 and considers it almost 27% undervalued. But as per my dividend calculations, I found it to be 12% undervalued with a fair price of $223. The third stock on our list is City Group Inc. Ticker symbol C. In the last one year, down almost 27%. Citigroup is a 2.4% of its 52 week low. It currently gives a yield of 3.88% and a PE of 7.8. From a dividend standpoint, it has a five year dividend growth rate of almost 31%. Track your dividends gives Citigroup a dividend score of 60 and considers it undervalued by almost 47%. But per my calculations, I found Citigroup to be 24% undervalued with a fair price of $64. The next stock on our list is FedEx Corp, ticker symbol FDX. Year to date, FedEx has dropped almost 21% and the last one year down almost 26%. FedEx is at 2% of its 52 week low. It currently provides a yield of 1.45% and has a PE of 10. From a dividend standpoint, it has a five year growth rate of 13.4% and it's a very low payout ratio of just 16%. Track your dividends gives FedEx a dividend score of 60 and consider it to be undervalued by almost 57%. But as per my calculations, I found FedEx to be undervalued by 11% with a fair price of $228. The next stock on our list is Goldman Sachs Group, ticker symbol GS. Year to date, Goldman Sachs has fallen more than 19% and in the last one year, it has fallen over 3%. Goldman Sachs is 1.8% of its 52 week low. It provides a yield of 2.39% currently and has a PE of 8.83. From a dividend standpoint, Goldman Sachs has been growing its dividends for the last five years and has a five year growth rate of almost 23%. Track your dividends gives Goldman Sachs a dividend score of 78 and considers it to be undervalued by almost 47%. As per my dividend calculations, I found Goldman Sachs to be undervalued by 29% with a fair price of $413. The next stock on our list is Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. Bank of America has been down almost 19% year to date and in the last one year, it has fallen more than 2%. Bank of America is 1.7% of its 52 week low. It currently provides a yield of 2.16% at a PE of 11.66. From a dividend standpoint, Bank of America has been growing its dividends for the last eight years. And the five year growth rate is 24.1%. 
track your dividends, gives Bank of America a dividend score of 75 and consider it undervalued by almost 10%. But as per my dividend calculations, I found Bank of America to be undervalued by 7% with a fair price of $40. The next stock on our list is Comcast Corporation, ticker symbol CMCSA. Year to date, Comcast has fallen almost 11%, and the last one year, it has fallen almost 17%. Comcast is 0.9% of its 52 week low. It currently provides a yield of 2.3% and has a PE ratio of 13.2. From the dividend standpoint, Comcast has been growing its dividends for the last five years at a five year growth rate of 12.34%. Track your dividends gives Comcast a dividend score of 52 and considers it to be undervalued by 9%. But as per my dividend calculations, I found Comcast to be undervalued by 12% with a fair price of $51. The next stock on our list is JP Morgan Chase & Co. Ticker symbol JPM. Year to date, JP Morgan has fallen almost 22%. And the last one year, it has fallen almost 14%. JP Morgan currently is 0.5% of its 52-week low. It currently gives a yield of 3.06% at a PE of 11.7. From a dividend standpoint, JP Morgan has been raising its dividends for the last nine years at a healthy rate of 15%. Track your dividends gives JP Morgan a dividend score of 80 and considers it undervalued by almost 30%. As per my calculations, I found JP Morgan to be 15% undervalued with a fair price of $146. The next stock on our list is Home Depot, ticker symbol HD. Year to date, Home Depot has fallen almost 27%, and in the last one year, it has fallen almost 7%. Home Depot is 0.5% of its 52 week low. It currently provides a yield of 2.45% and has a PE of 19.26. From a dividend standpoint, Home Depot has been growing its dividends for the last 13 years at a very healthy 5-year growth rate of 18.27. Track your dividends gives Home Depot a dividend score of 81 and considers it to be undervalued by 32%. As for my calculations, I found Home Depot to be undervalued by 5% with a fair price of $315. The 10th and final stock on our list is BlackRock Inc. Take a symbol BLK. Year to date, BlackRock has fallen over 27%, and last one year, it has fallen almost 17%. BlackRock currently is at its 52 week low. It provides a yield of 2.86% and has a PE of 17.19. From a dividend standpoint, BlackRock has been growing its dividends for the last 18 years and has a 5 year growth rate of 13%. Track your dividends gives BlackRock a dividend score of 81 and considers it to be undervalued by 23%. As per my dividend calculations, I found BlackRock to be 7% undervalued at the fair price of $710. So here's a list of stocks we just discussed. I know most of these belong to the financial sector, but with the growing interest rates, good financial stocks are expected to make profit. So the current price points at which these companies are is a very good buying opportunity. Along with that, the good yields that these stocks provide adds to that ever-growing amazing passive income. Hope you like this video. And I'd really appreciate if you could hit on that like and subscribe buttons. And also it will be helpful if you could provide your comments in the comment section about what you liked about this video and what you would like to see changes. And until we meet in our next video, let's try as much as possible to be financially healthy. See ya. Bye.